good morning students welcome to this video so the previous class we will discuss about the transpirations you know that means what the water come out from leaves in the form of vapor this is called the transpiration so today we are going to discuss about one of the activity you know that page number 56 activity 5 you know page number 56 activity 5 how do you do this activity you know first we record some materials what are the materials or what are the things is needed for this activity first one take one herbs take one herbs and spray baker taste you okay. water and buckner and iodine solution okay so these are the material needed for this activity what are the material needed the first one is the leaf spread baker test tube okay stand okay and plate water and iodine solution so these are the material is needed for this activity okay how you do this activity how you do this activity first put a leaf you know the first what you do put a leaf in your test tube first what you do put in your put in your leaf in your test tube so the first what you do take one piece of leaf and put in the test tube okay put in your test tube and you add some spray you add some spray what is the next one add spray the add spray put in a leaf test tube and pour the pour the spray so now what you have done the leaf is completely dissolved in the spray ok now what you do put in a test tube next what you do put in a test tube keep on the paper ok what test tube Keep on your beaker. Keep on your beaker. Next, what you do? You fill the water in the test tube. You fill the water in the test tube. Fill the water in the test tube and keep on the stand. Keep on the stand. And put some heat. And put some heat and heat in the baker. Fill the next to what you do that baker that test tube keep on the baker. Next to what you do, heat it. So the green color, the, the green color, the completely the green color from the legs come out in, inside the test tube. Okay, what the green pigment the green color the completely the green color come out the completely the green color come out in the test tube and the green color full of and the test tube blood they are perfect ok the next what you do next take the leaf ok well, next take the leaf and wash it and wash it and take the leaf carefully and keep on the plate and wash it ok now what you do put some drops of put some drops of iodine solution on the leaf put some drops of iodine solution put some put some drops of iodine solution on the leaf on that leaf ok so after this this is the procedure of this activity that is the procedure of this activity first 
put it in a layer in the test tube and pour the spread and keep on the test tube keep on the beaker and heat it what will change the completely the green color come out in the test tube the because in the test tube inside the test tube having the spread okay so the completely the green color completely the green color come out in the test tube okay after carefully remove the lid and put in the plate and wash it and next put some drops of iodine solution on the lid next put some drops of iodine solution on the lid okay so finally what you do what you see okay what already we will do this kind of activity in chapter 2 you know the test for salt or test for protein or test for fat you know already we will done this kind of activity you know so whenever you will do this kind of test so the food item containing the different nutrients the food item containing the different nutrients the food item is containing the different nutrients like the carbohydrate protein the fat vitamins so the food item is containing that all the nutrients okay and in chapter 2 we will discuss about you know the slice of potato that potato also is present the starch that potato also it can present the starch from from other parts of the plants and storage you know the potato also is containing the starch in store in that other parts of the plants you know once again already I told you know the plant part of leaves it can prepare the oil that is a very important okay the plant part of the leaves you know the leaves it can prepare the oil food you know the which part of the plant it can make your own food the part of leaves you know the leaves it can prepare the own food with the help of okay ba with the help of with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide so the green parts of the leaves you know because the leaves having the green pigment you know the leaves having the green pigment the leaves having the green pigment what is the name of the pigment just you remember the chlorophyll you know the chlorophyll okay well. the leaves having the one of the green pigment that is the what is the name of the pigment chlorophyll okay well. so the leaves it can prepare the own food leaves it can prepare the own food the presence of sunlight the help of chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide this process is known as called photosynthesis this process is known as called what a photosynthesis the photosynthesis is a very important protein the photosynthesis means nothing but the green leaves the green leaves can make a own food with the help of the sunlight and chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide okay ba so that process is known as called photosynthesis that is a very very important human process without sunlight the plant cannot make your own food without sunlight plants cannot make your own food because the, the sunlight is very important for leaves without sunlight the plant cannot make your own food the sunlight and chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide also is very important okay so during the photosynthesis time leaves give out oxygen okay what during the photosynthesis time the leaves okay what given out oxygen given out oxygen you know so during this photosynthesis time during the photosynthesis time plants give out that oxygen and intake that carbon dioxide okay what intake that carbon dioxide 
So the idea is to always moving the photosynthesis time. You know, when will photosynthesis occur? Only in the daytime. Okay, what? Because daytime only, you have seen the sunlight. Okay, what? So during the photosynthesis time, the leaves give out that oxygen and take the carbon dioxide. Take the carbon dioxide. That, that, that is a very important one more question. Okay, what? During the photosynthesis time, the rich gas plants give out and take it. Okay, what? So during the photosynthesis time, leaves give out that oxygen and take that. That process is known as called photosynthesis. That process is known as called a photosynthesis. Okay, what? So next one. So the leaves is ultimately get stored in different parts of the plants. Okay, what? The next one. How do we know that leaf can prepare the starch and not receive that other parts of the plants? You know, already you know the leaves only can prepare the whole food. You know, why that other plants is not receive that food? Okay, it's not receive that starch plants. Okay, what? So you have then one kind of activity. Okay, what? Now you have then one kind of activity. Okay, what? So what kind of activity you do? So first the page number that uh, 57. Okay, what? So first you place your potted plants. First you take your potted plants. In that that potted plants having that grey leaves. That potted plant having that grey leaves. You keep in the dark room for days or two. Next what you do? You cover the leaves. You cover the leaves. You cover you cover the leaves completely in the uses of block paper. Or the block paper and the leaves motum cover pani vachu. Okay, what? Next where you keep? So you keep under the sunlight for two, two or three days. Okay. And next what you do? Next remove the leaf okay what? remove the leaf covered in the block paper have you understood next remove the leaf in covered that block paper and the leaf were covered on the block paper number eight okay what? repeat this activity okay what? repeat this activity you know what do you see in this act what you able to this activity what you able what you able? So which part of leaves show the presence of starch? You know which part of the which part of the plant it can make a starch? Definitely the leaves only it can make a starch. Okay, what wow. it make a starch? That this help us understand that leaves produce starch this is very important. Only that the leaves. Produce the starch in the presence of sunlight. You know the leaves. The leaves. Okay, ma. The leaves. It present the starch. The present the starch during the sunlight. Okay, ma. The leaves. You know that leaves produce starch. The leaves. It produce starch with the help of sunlight. That is a very important point. The leaves prepared, okay, what? Leaves produce the leaves produce here the start with the help of sunlight. With the help of sunlight, okay, what? So this is one kind of activity, okay, what? This is one kind of activity. So that is a very important um, point. The photosynthesis process is very important for this sunlight, okay, what? Because the leaves only can prepare the whole world with the help of sunlight. Okay, and another one important thing because the human beings, you know, we are not making your own food because we are not having chlorophyll. That chlorophyll having only in the plants. Okay, what? green pigment. What is the name of the green pigment? Chlorophyll. So that's why the plant it can make your own food with the help of the sunlight. Okay, chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide. We are not for your whole food because we are not having chlorophyll we are not having chlorophyll okay we see the stems supply leaves in water 
you know the plants where will get water okay well, you know just you remember parts of the plants you know root stems leaves buds and flower and fruits you know so the all the minerals like water it can travel from one part of plant to another part of the plant how is it possible through the some parts of the plant you know the through the root through the root okay well, root it can absorb the water and minerals from the soil you know root is absorb the water and minerals absorb the water and minerals from the soil next that water and minerals where will get stems the stems carrying the water and minerals in the leaves so now what will happen leaves okay now the leaves having that water from the uh, uh, water from the stem okay ba so the leaves it can automatically make the own food during the day time during the day time so next to where to go that uh, water and minerals next that water minerals it can reach the leaves and fruits and buds flower fruits and buds okay ba so this is one of the way so this way only the water and minerals it can transfer from one parts of the plant to another parts of the plants okay the root is a very important parts of plants because the root is always carrying that water and minerals from that the soil that water and minerals or water and minerals it transfer in the whole parts of the plants Okay, I understood. So the photosynthesis is very very important to my question. The next class we will discuss about the 